Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. Johnny Mac here, the gravy guy. Why in the world would you eat out? Let me show you a delicious sauce and meal you can make in the comfort of your own home in a matter of minutes. This is episode number two of the weeknight sauce series, a tarragon and tomato pan sauce for fish. To start off with, you'll fry some fish in the pan. I used mahi-mahi, I lightly coated it in flour and seasoned it with salt and pepper. Any fish will do, but I find that this recipe really works well with any type of white meat type fish. Remove the fish, put them in a warm place to rest, and would you look at that, all those bits and pieces, that's flavor. Whatever you do, do not remove them, keep them in the pan, that's the base for your delicious pan sauce. If you watch the channel, you know the drill from here. Pans over medium heat, drop in one tablespoon of butter, 14 grams, melt it down. Next up to bat, one medium shallot, or is it a shallot? Chop it however you prefer and cook it until it's lightly golden brown around the edges. This just takes a minute or two. Once these bad boys look like this, it's time to break out the shrubbery, the tarragon. Hit your spice rack, a half a teaspoon will do. If you have the luxury of finding fresh tarragon, well, knock yourself out. At this point, you'll want to deglaze the pan with half of a cup or 125 milliliters of white wine. I happen to be using Chardonnay. Grab your flat bottom spatula and scrape the sides and bottom of the pan. This will help incorporate flavor by getting all of those bits and pieces of the fish as well as shallot up into that cooking liquid and flavor, that's what you want. And while you're at it, spank in a dash or two of black pepper. Reduce that wine down by roughly three fourths over medium heat until it looks about like this. This happens fairly quickly, so don't walk away. Moving right along, it's time to add one medium tomato. Because this is a quick and easy weeknight recipe, I did not remove the skin or the seeds. If you want to do that, why not? Go for it. It's from scratch. It's homemade. You can make it how you like it. Mix them there, maters, into the sauce and slowly simmer down for about two minutes to infuse flavor and break those tomatoes down into the sauce. Whenever your sauce begins to look like this, you're ready to move on to the final step. Run over to the fridge, grab your butter. You need four tablespoons, that's 56 grams, of cubed butter. Work in batches, put about half in at first, give that pan a swirl or use a spoon or spatula to mix it in, and then add the second batch. Just work it until all of the butter has mounted or combined into the sauce. And that really doesn't take any time at all. This is a perfect, fast, weeknight, healthy type sauce. Throw a few sides on the burner whenever you're frying up the fish, maybe a rice and veggie. It's so easy, in roughly 20 minutes you can have a complete meal. You can steam the rice, you can knock out the veggies, fry the fish, make the sauce, boom, you're ready to go. Give that delicious tarragon tomato sauce a taste, see if you need to adjust the seasoning, add a dash of salt if necessary, and additional pepper if needed. Now why would you eat out whenever you could make this? And that's all there is to it, that's how you make a tarragon tomato pan sauce for fish. An easy pan sauce recipe made really quick in the comfort of your own home that would rival any of the finest restaurant sauces out there. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the channel, be sure to smash that like button. Stay tuned for episode number three of the Weeknight Sauce series coming out next Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. A delicious steak sauce, a baronaise sauce that you can make in a matter of minutes. Thanks again for watching and remember to live, love, and make gravy. Keep whisking, y'all.